हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन थर्मोडायनामिक्स पार्ट टू इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन ऑल अबाउट द माइक्रोस्कोपिक एंड माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेट दिस डिस्कस दिस सो माइक्रोस्कोपिक इन वॉज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स यू सी दिस इज वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स यू सी दिस इज अ टिपिकल आई सी दिस इज नॉर्मल वाटर एंड वेन आई सी माइक्रोस्कोपिक दैट मीन्स आई एम व्यूइंग अ गुड नंबर ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स Maybe fifty, hundred, thousands, lakhs. Good number of water molecules. But I don't want to see only one water molecule. Let's suppose here, or uh, one hydrogen molecule, uh, hydrogen atom, or oxygen atom, and apply thermodynamics. That is not possible. When I want to apply thermodynamics on this, I want to, I should take a bunch of molecules together. and that is called the macroscopic system because when you talk about macroscopic you take bunch of system together right and microscopic when you talk about microscopic you talk about atoms for example i'm talking about atoms and talking about um, the the number of protons the number of electrons it has and uh, the energy levels of electrons those kind of thing i'm talking about i'm talking about a microscopic so it is very simple if you see talk about the economy for example so macroscopic is uh, like uh, the economy of a country economy of a country and microscopic is nothing but economy of a of a individual person individual person so when i say individual person is rich or poor we can find based on his financial statement how much money he has I mean, talk about the economy of the country. You talk about the whole country, and then you talk about a lot of other uh, terms. For example, GDP of the country, the the export and import of the country. So those terms comes when you talk about the economy of the country. So that level is called maybe that level, that type of thing is macroscopic. Then you look at a lot of you know, uh, if you consider these uh, atoms as uh, or molecules as one people, a lot of people combined becomes one country. When you look at the country level. Then you talk about the economy. You talk about the whole economy of the country. You talk about the GDP of the country, the export, import, and all this thing. Talk from the finance perspective. When you talk about the, the microscopic level, that means you're talking about the individual person income, what is expenditure, what are the tax he's paying. So things are different, right? So when you talk about the individual person economy, you talk about the income tax he's paying and um, uh, how much he's earning. But when you talk about the macroscopic thing, when you talk about the economy of the country, you don't talk about the taxes paid because the country doesn't pay any tax, right? So there are different levels actually. Or if you want, uh, I can explain you with one example. So macroscopic, you think and think at a school level. We talk about the school level, school level, and uh, microscopic is student level. So when you talk about student level, you talk about things like uh, uh, what is percentage. What is this? You know, uh, attendance uh, percentage. It, 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 uh, is it coming ninety percent of the days or twenty percent of the days? Or uh, we talk about things like uh, uh, student height, height of student, age of student. You talk about you uh, know other things, parents of student. So you talk about all these things when you talk about the microscopic system. That is, you're talking about the student level. When you talk about lot of students together, you form a school. And then when you talk about school level. Or let's suppose take the class level. Let's yeah, let's take the class level. So when you talk about the class, then you don't talk about the attendance thing because the class there is no concept of attendance of class. There is no age for class, right? So so things are different. When you talk about the macroscopic, you talk about me. You, you may talk about the average uh, uh, percentage of the students, or you can talk about the The number of the the number of teachers they have, or no, oh, the number of bench they have, the things are different. So here also microscopic. We talk about macroscopic. You talk about a lot of molecules, and you talk about different things. I mean, on microscopic, you talk about only one molecule, and I mean, you talk about electrons, protons, and all. But in case of thermodynamics, we talk about macroscopic system only, where where it involves large number of molecules, right? so once again the law of thermodynamics deal with the energy change at microscopic system so let's discuss some laws of thermodynamics so there are various laws the first law is nothing but the zeroth law actually this is zeroth law that talks about thermal equilibrium and the thermometer is based on this law 
So at least it says that there are three systems, there are three systems A, B and C. If uh, A and B are in equilibrium, B and C are in equilibrium, that means A and C are also in equilibrium. So how thermometer works is, for example, this I apply this thermometer to some body, some object, and this is hot. Let's suppose this is 80 degrees Celsius. And let's suppose initially this is degrees Celsius. What will happen is heat will flow from here to here and it will attain an equilibrium. Since it is very small and this is very big, both will attain almost 80 degrees Celsius temperature. And then heat flow will stop. And this will become 80 degrees Celsius. So thermal equilibrium is something but um, some concept which is which you talk in zero law. It says that if you have two objects and there's a difference in temperature, heat will flow and make sure that the uh, two objects are in thermal equilibrium. Then the first law which talks about the conservation of energy, it says that delta is not used nothing but the change of the internal energy. We we'll discussed this. It is nothing but the sum of heat supplied or heat taken, heat plus work done. So internal energy change is nothing but heat and work done. So it talks about the conservation of energy. Is, the energy can neither be created nor can be destroyed. So if you supply some heat or do some work on that, that will uh, be reflected in the internal energy chain. Then there is something called second law of thermodynamics which talks about direction of chemical change and it says that the entropy of universe is increasing. So we'll discuss this laws of and then there is a third law of uh, thermodynamics which states that at absolute zero Kelvin the entropy of perfect crystalline is zero. That's what the third law says. So we'll discuss all these laws uh, once again in detail. Just I wanted to give you a brief of the number of laws we have. Fourth law, zero, one, two, three laws we have in thermodynamics. And we'll discuss this in detail. Let's discuss something more on thermodynamics now. So I've discussed all these things earlier, but I just want to repeat one this, these things because they are critical. Thermodynamics is con not concerned about how and what rate this energy transformation take place, but only on the initial and final state. For example, my initial state, uh, the energy was, uh, let's suppose X, and here my energy was Y. So I'm bothered only about these values. I don't care how you got this using this path, using this path, this path, or this path. I don't care. I don't care how you reach the state. For example, let's suppose there are two dist uh, points, point A and point B. This is your uh, uh, school playground. And this is your classroom. And there are various ways of going from playground to classroom. Maybe you can go uh, by a computer lab, you can go by a uh, lobby, you can go by route one, you can go, there are various ways you must be knowing that. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter which way you took, you, I just care about whether you were in classroom or you were in playground. So that's what thermodynamics deal with, you don't care about the path which you took, you only care about the initial and final state. It is applicable only at macroscopic level, that means you have a bunch of molecules and you see that uh, molecules together at that level, the, you can say the country level or the class level. And this is the law of thermodynamics is applicable only when the system is equilibrium and moves from one equilibrium state to another. So, so if you see, we we'll talk about equilibrium, uh, we, that uh, the system is moving from one state to another. We'll talk about these things later. Before we start the thermodynamics in detail, let's uh, talk about the scope and limitation of thermodynamics. The scopes are explanation of properties of matter. It explains why the solid is solid, why liquid is liquid, why gas is gas. Why matter behaves the way they behave. It explains that. It predicts the feasibility of chemical reactions. For example, if I say H2 plus half O2 is H2O, it will tell you, it can tell you whether this is feasible or not. Or let's suppose if I have my rusting thing, iron plus oxygen gives Fe2O3. Let's balance this. I think this is the balanced chemical reaction. Yeah. So this rusting takes place. This is the natural phenomenon. But given this reaction can be done, 
So we can we'll discuss how we can do that. The thermodynamics will help us in telling that. It will also tell the extent to which this reaction can occur. For example, if I had a simple 100 gram of this, 50 gram of this, so to what extent this reaction will happen. So it will help us determine that. But there are some limitations. It will not tell the speed of the reaction. The speed it will not tell. It will not tell the path because as I told it depends only on the initial final step. It will not tell the path of the reaction. It is not applicable to microscopic system. As I told that thermodynamics is applicable only at the macroscopic system. At microscopic system, this is not applicable. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.